Welcome to another Mad Hatter review. So part four of uh, the Power Rangers X Ninja Turtle saga, um, Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls. It's another part four. It's the only part four I can think of. Um, but yeah, they uh, show the uh, Shredder. Shredder is up. He's up on Hasbro Pulse, Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth. All of the uh, all the retailers are up here. I just pre-ordered him from uh, Hasbro Pulse. As soon as I saw him up, I put in my info with the quickness. Not going to take a chance. I'm already three in. If I don't get this one, what's what? What good am I? Okay, what purpose do I have on this uh, on this spinning rock? Uh, so. Uh, I got them from Hasbro Pulse. The all the ones on Hasbro Pulse have been selling out. So these are, I mean, at least ostensibly doing well. Ostensibly, it's a good word. Uh, but uh, I wanted to go through these. So first of all, this is thirty one ninety nine. So basically thirty two bucks. So it's cheaper. It's uh, obviously just the one figure instead of uh, the two. Uh, but this one does seem like it's more sizable. Than the others, so maybe that's why. Uh, maybe that's why thirty-two for one. But let's just go ahead and take a look at this. So you got uh, the first shredder pick here, and he's sort of coming at you now. Uh, just magnifying this, I uh, really, really like the style of the helmet. I love how the green is kind of interlaced in there. Obviously, he's got the gold. That's a big thing with Power Rangers. It's sort of like the gold and the kind of metallic uh, metallic sheen that everything has there. Here's a picture kind of on a white backdrop. You can see a little better. So it is mixed media, uh, or at least the cape is mixed media. Not sure I love the little stitching thing on the side, but uh, I can live with that. But the mask is really freaking cool. It's just uh, a super intimidating shredder, uh, red eye shredder. Reminds me of the uh, 2003 Ninja Turtle shredder. If you remember him, he just looked like a like a beast. Um, and this kind of has a, uh, he's got a little bit of that. But um, I really like the sculpt. Uh, it looks like his posability is pretty good. Um, I'm wondering how how tall does it, does it say how tall he's going to be? I'm assuming that uh, he's taller than uh the other guys in the in the line that would just make sense um but um yeah i really like this i like the belt i like the that big chest piece that he has here's another pic of him with his sort of uh rocket punch claws coming at you and then uh here is one of him sort of looking to the side look at the side of the helmet the helmet looks great man they're great they did a great job on, on this figure and the articulation looks like it's going to be there too Ooh, i like how i didn't notice this before i like how his uh i do actually like how his uh how his cape is tattered at the bottom so uh maybe i'm changing my mind on the cape uh as i see uh more picks uh and then here's him in the box and uh yeah just light on accessories just the two hands and the two rocket punch things but great uh great shredder just looks like a fucking beast uh, so uh I'm, I'm in obviously in for this and uh hopefully that closes off the the um the money hemorrhaging that was the ninja turtles uh power rangers <laughs> release what a what a week it this this whole thing just came out of nowhere and then just started releasing and then like every day and then we just had to like buy these every day if we were into them um I'm, I'm assuming the shredder is the last one maybe somebody will chime in and be like no there's you know this is the most relevant thing in the comic and i'll i'll, I'll be wrong i'm gonna read that comic i've had some people kind of recommend the boom comic and uh, the art looks great so i'll be in to read it so i don't look like a complete poser just buying shit that is just on a on a visual aesthetic <laughs> but uh but yeah I'm in for the, wow, look at it, they, they all sold out, man, on Hasbro, that's crazy, um, so I hope this does well for me, it's just like, even if I'm not into the line, I'm into this, but even if I'm not into like a turtle line, I know like there are some turtle lines I'm just not into, I, it, more turtles is, is, is not a bad thing, and just having, uh, uh, just keeping the brand alive is always great, so very, very excited about this, and, um, uh, and yeah, Oh, quick tangent. Um, I I know people have been asking me if I've seen any of the um, the NECA stuff in Walmart. So they got the uh, the the new Casey Jones unmasked Casey Jones, and then they got the uh, uh, the new Super Shredder, the European Super Shredder. Uh, he is out. He is out of Walmart. Um, I have not seen any. I have one fucking Walmart in my area, and it's always like 
ground zero for nothingness. Um, so I have not seen uh, anything, uh, but I do know that people are getting getting them. I do know that people are, are flipping them too. I don't know if this is real, uh, but I did see, I actually have it up on a tab right here because I was looking at it earlier. This might be like a flipper of the week, but this guy right here, who's this dude? He sold the NECA TMNT Ultimate Casey Jones figure unmasked hot for seemingly 250 Well, he put it up for $250 and then he has the X out, which usually means that he got some kind of offer. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody bought this for $150 to $200. He probably didn't sell it for $150. I'm thinking like $200 or around the $200 to $250 range, which if you did, what the fuck are you doing? Why would you buy this for for what why would you pay a hundred and fifty dollars plus for this figure uh, it, it's 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 become pretty clear that you'll be able to get this at some point like unless uh, th there there are there are people that are like they they need the thing first and I'm not even talking about like being part of the first crop they want it, they want to have it first in hand, and they'll pay any amount of money. That's, uh, I, to me, that's ludicrous. You're just throwing money in a well. But if you if you got the money to throw it in a well, then I guess do it. But why would you pay this much money? Uh, this will be readily available at some point, okay? I don't know when, I don't know where, but is it worth $250? Is it worth $200? Maybe it's worth it to you. Okay, maybe you're a giant Elias Cotis fan and um, this is the moment uh, of uh, that you've been waiting for your whole life and you gotta just kind of show the world, but I don't know. This just promotes uh, uh, the, the, the flipper behavior. This is why you can't find shit at Walmart. So I said all that to say that these are out. Uh, European Shredder and uh, Casey Jones Unmasked are out. And uh, we'll see how, how the distribution model uh, works. Uh, interesting enough, um, I caught um, on, on NECA's last post about the Super Shredder, um, they did mention, so this is coming out of Walmart, and then in parentheses it says, online and international availability at a later date. As far as I know, that's the first time that they've said, hey, even though this is a Walmart exclusive, this will be available online at a later date. So... Um, they did not say that for the Casey Jones, but I, I really do believe NECA is obviously not about leaving money on the table. Once the heat dies down, hint, hint, turtles in disguise, uh, they, they, they just tend to go online. So unless you really need this badly and, and, and you know, you, you, you just kind of want to be part of the first money is no object. Sure. Go ahead. Go nuts. But um, I, I think it's it's pretty clear now that online exclusivity, uh, or, or sorry, store exclusivity, Walmart, Target, only means so much in the long run. Because once the heat dwindles, they're going, we want to make more money, and then they put it online, because why not? So uh, I, I would not panic, uh, again, unless, you, unless there's some kind of time frame you need this in. So that is all. I know I'm kind of all over the place today, but I'm just still taking in the fact that I paid... I spent uh, pretty much $200 uh, in, in, this week and was not expecting to. That's the hit. It's, it's, the, it's the not expecting to spend that much money. Uh, that, uh, that is a real kick in, the, uh, kick in the nuts. But hopefully it's over, okay? I, I, hopefully I can take a sigh of relief. Yeah, I can't feed my family, but eh, whatever. We don't need to eat for a good week. That's fine. Uh, but that's all I got. Let me know what you guys think about this. Did you pick up all of them? Did you pick up none of them? Um, I feel like if you're going to pick up one, you're going to pick up all of them. I, I doubt that there's a lot of in-between, uh, but maybe there is. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Comment, subscribe, drop me a like, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.